The following program is in no way representative of the high-quality programming usually seen on this television network. The views expressed and fishing techniques demonstrated are not endorsed by this station. The following is not a news broadcast. Hi, welcome to Fishmasters. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of complaints that we haven't been catching any fish on this show. That we just spend all our time just gabbing and yapping and don't ever actually get down to bringing fish into the boat. So we're here to dispel that and uh, we're not going to say a word until we've caught a fish. Not a word till we've caught a fish. This is a life, ain't it? Thank the Lord for a beautiful day. And I hope we catch some fish. You don't really even have to catch fish to have a good time fishing. That's what I always say. Give me one. <sighs> Give me one. <coughs> what you thinking about? Just thinking about there's only one fish master brew, so you'll just kind of have to entertain yourself. Shouldn't be hard for you to do. What you thinking about now? Hey, I, hey! I was just thinking about Bikini Girl. She was one of the most beautiful girls in the world. I followed her around like a lovesick puppy. We were just like Romeo and Juliet. We were the Luke and Laura fishing shows. The sun seemed to shine just for us. We were just like the love boat, only several sizes smaller and without a lovable crew and well-known has-been celebrity co-stars. But then things began to go terribly wrong. She began to criticize every little thing I did. Nothing was good enough for her. I couldn't do anything right in her mind. To her, I'd become a big clumsy idiot. Soon she even began to doubt my fishing ability. Pop, you didn't catch anything. Just reel again. Reel it in. They say familiarity breeds contempt, and her contempt for me was breeding like a rabbit. Pretty soon she didn't even want to be in the same boat with me, and later she didn't even want to fish. Soon she had turned the show into some kind of astrology, psychic, hotline, phone-in show. Okay, I want to tell you all, planets are very important and they really do influence how we feel. 
I am a Pisces with a Gemini rising and a Libra moon. That's why being a Pisces, I like the water, I'm creative and artistic and sensitive, and that's why I'm a fish master, because I'm on the water with my little fishy friends and all that kind of stuff. Okay, How can okay. she call herself a fish um, master? Only manly men can be Gemini fish masters. We're not even fishing. Together, We're not even on the water. Kind of indecisive, but I mean, not totally indecisive, but kind of indecisive because um, I can make big decisions, but not little like what to have for lunch and stuff like that. But big ones, I mean, if a man was... Soon she was talking all the time. There was no fishing excitement, no fishing adventure, no fishing at all. Just yapping and gabbing and lip flapping. No matter how pretty she was, I couldn't take it no more. So I ditched her. It's always sad when love goes awry. Well, at least I've still got Lulu. Well, that's a bitter pill to swallow. Inside of my nose getting tan. You know, I didn't mind being separated though from you. I kind of liked it when there was somebody else on the show. Nothing personal. Remember that time they tried to replace us? We're running fish master down the Fish top. master! My eyes! My, my eyes! Then there was that time when I left and you stayed. Welcome back to Fish Masters. Oh, hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> you still had the fishing show and I was off to make a fortune with the rat video. I don't remember that. That part I don't. You don't remember my rap video? Check baby, check baby, one, two. Check baby, check baby, three, four. Check baby, check baby, five, six. Check baby, check baby, like this. Oh, that's good. This is easy. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Shake your booty up and down. Shake your booty all around. Shake your booty in a box. Shake your booty with a box. Shake your butt and or your rump. Shake your tush and jump, jump. In other news, MC Fishmaster has been declared the biggest star in the world. Well, you're on your way to becoming one of the richest, most powerful men in all of modern civilization. How does that make you feel? Just fine. Put your hands up in the air. You've been Wave seen with almost every like supermodel. You You've been Take involved with Cher, Madonna, three. Kim Basinger, Vanna White. How does that make Take you feel? I'm, uh, Lulu might be watching this program, so you might not want to mention those starlets. So basically, I'm back where I started, kind of a rags to riches to rags story. Back on the boat, and I don't have any money. And I've got a constant reminder of how miserable my life has become. Tell it again. That's a good story. <laughs> Fishmaster! Hi, welcome back to Fishmasters. We're just out here. Fishing. Hear that music? No. I don't hear any music. Yeah, hear it? No. Remember the last time you heard music, though? We were somewhere, a bait stand or something. He said, I hear music. Then you left, and I tried to find you. You had gone into some club or something.
excuse me, I, I don't mean to, to interrupt your little show. I'm looking, I'm looking for a, a I'll just look for him. He's wearing a life preserver. I'll, I'll find him. You, you go back to your little show. Uh, Y'all know any fishing tunes? Hey, you wanna fish? Obviously, we hooked up later because we're back together now. I finally found you. I guess, uh, you know, you're not a swinger like me. You shouldn't be going to the nightclub. You just can't live the nightclub life. I liked it. You, li you were in the bathroom the whole time. Ain't that the lie? <sighs> oh, sure. Technically, it can't be called beer, and it may be illegal in some states, and it'll never pass any FDA standards, and death may be the end result, but hey, if you don't buy Fishmaster Brew, your friends are probably gonna tease you. That's a peer pressure ad. Fishmaster Brew, drink it, everyone else does. Did I ever tell you about that time Lulu wanted to pose for a, wanted to send her picture into a girly magazine? Cosmo, or? No, not a magazine for girls, like a girly magazine. Like some of those were in the back. You can send in a picture of your girlfriend or something and they'll put them all in there. She wanted, and, and of course, guess who had to take the pictures? And I, you know, and, I, and she's sensitive. I couldn't just come out and tell her, yeah, maybe I'll take your picture naked and send it in if it's like a zoo magazine, like if they want a big picture of a big hairy gorilla or something. But in a girly magazine, that'd make people sick. They'd be flipping through looking at all the naked ladies and suddenly they'll come across this big old thing that, he, is that a mastodon? It's not gone extinct? Is that a, a big hairy gorilla? A baboon? It'd scare people. I, and I'm not going to be responsible for putting that in there. Of course, I can't say any of that. So I had to take the pictures, then send it into the magazine. 
of course they didn't use it they're not stupid they want to sell the magazines not ruin you know the publishing company altogether so anyway they uh they, they, they didn't use the pictures and they sent them back in fact they came back like the next day i dropped it in the mail the next day those pictures came back and uh i sent them to the zoo magazine and they printed it they printed it in the zoo magazine i bet lulu's happy about that well she doesn't know she doesn't know that they printed it, but we get in free to most of the zoos now. Or not free, but we get a dollar off. Fish Master Boo! <laughs> Need I say more? Fish Master Boo! Whoa, ho, ho, ho! Need we say more? Hi, uh, we'd like to apologize for this uh, next part of the show. Something was wrong with the audio on the tape. And due to our low budget and lack of technical experience and lack of time in getting the show prepared, we had to send it to some fancy schmancy Hollywood place to fix this portion of the tape. So uh, the next scenes are, there's an audio problem and we're aware of it and it was corrected by some fancy schmancy Hollywood types and uh, we're sorry, but it's only temporary and then the, the good standard high quality that you're used to will come back. It is a fine day for fishing, my friend. Thank the Lord for a beautiful day and I hope we catch some fish. I would agree, my handsome friend. Did I ever tell you the story about our family dog? It seems he loved to drive with his head out the window. Then one day as the family was driving along and the dog was sticking his head out the window, we drove too close to a sub sign and the head was shared right off the dog. Blood spewed everywhere. It was quite a sight. Only we didn't see it until we pulled into a gas station some 20 miles later. We looked in the back seat and there was our beloved family pet without a head. Can you imagine? Blood spewing out where a head used to be. I think now maybe we've got our audio problems corrected, so now we'll go back to the action. Here's the good friends. Tonight is kind of special. The bread will burn. I think I have an oar to just drink it. Fishmaster Brew, just drink it. Fishmaster! When you say fish master, you're talking brew. Fish master brew. La 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 Show. 